All right, what's up everybody? Matt Moda here with Odds Jam, here to give you my favorite college basketball bet of the day. So recording this early in the morning of Thursday, December 1st. Can't believe we are already in December. Um, looking at the Odds Jam positive expected value page to find um, all these positive expected value bets. All of these bets are mathematically profitable. You could place every single one and probably be profitable over the course of time. Uh, but for this one, I have my favorite bet that I'm going to give to you guys. And the play that we are looking at here is uh, the Arizona versus Utah under 154 and a half. So this play is at minus 106 at FanDuel. The Ajdam Novig odds price this almost exactly at minus 109.5. So let's chat about this one. Um, the Novig odds is an important concept to understand. If, if you, if, for those of you who have watched a bunch of the Odds Jam YouTube videos, you probably already understand this at this point, but to give a brief less than one minute tutorial of how it works, Odds Jam back tested thousands and thousands of betting opportunities, just trying to determine what sports books do the best job at pricing odds. So they collected all of this historical data. They used that data to make that determination. Oh, okay, these X amount of books do the best job at pricing odds. So guess what? We're going to use them to set the market moving forward. We're going to use all of these sharp sports books that over the course of time consistently are the most accurate at pricing odds. And then we're just going to use them again, like I said, to set the market moving forward. So anywhere in which you see these no big odds here, they can be viewed as the true line of what a market should truly be priced at. In this case, minus 109 and a half. All in all, in this one equates to a profit margin of 1.58%. So in terms of unit sizing this one, I recommend putting one unit on it, which for me is 100 bucks. So I already locked this bet in for $100. Actually, I, no, I sorry, I put to win $100, excuse me. So I risked 106 to win 100. So that is what I would recommend putting on this one, risk to win one unit. So. Um, that's going to be, that's kind of the math behind it, right? Of course, uh, you could look at that in four seconds and determine the math. Oh, no big odds, minus 109. Book has it at minus 106. Equates to a profit margin of 1.58. You could do that in four seconds. The additional research and um, a, a information gathering that I like to do before placing a bet, and I obviously did it on this one before I placed the bet, is if you click open a play, you just click anywhere in which it's highlighted blue, like you see here in the actual positive EV play, it pulls up where every sports book is pricing this individual play. And then what you also wanna do is view this event page in a new tab, and I'll explain that in just a second. But, so the play that we were betting on is the under 154 and a half. FanDuel prices that at minus 106, Look at the other three books, or well, I guess two books actually, because the Odd Jam line and Pinnacle are the same. But Bet Rivers has it at minus 121. Pinnacle has it at minus 124. So the other two books that price the 154.5 significantly favor the under compared to the FanDuel line. That's good. But if you open this up in a new tab, which is what I did here, what you really want to see is where every other book prices the main line of this market to be. So it looks like actually a couple books um, updated their odds to now also have it at 154 and a half at minus 110. But look at every other book. Caesars, 154. At, Caesars has it at 154. A half point lower than what we got it at, at 154 and a half, as does DraftKings. BetMGM has it at 153 and a half, a full point lower than what we got it at. BetRivers has it at minus one, or excuse me, has it at 153 and a half as well. Same, uh, the point lower than what we got it at. And then points bet and Pinnacle both have it at 153, a point and a half lower than what we got it at. So basically what we're doing by opening this up in a new tab and viewing where every sports book prices this total at, we're just finding discrepancies. Every book that prices the 154 and a half is not giving you odds as good as minus 106, right? We'd see Betfred and BetOnline at minus 110. So they have it at even money each way. And then Bet Rivers and Pinnacle are heavily favoring the under. Then every other sports book that prices this play has their total priced below the amount that we got it at. And I know that it probably doesn't seem like a big deal beating the closing line by half a point, by a full point, by a point and a half, whatever it may be. But you have to understand just over the course of time how valuable that can be 
towards making money betting on sports. So the example that I like to give, so normally when you place a bet, you're placing it at minus 110 each way, right? That's kind of the standard main line, minus 110. So let's pretend you place a thousand bets at minus 110 odds and you bet $100 on each bet. You win 50% of your bets. At minus 110 odds, that's kind of the going rate, 50%. You're actually losing money from that from that uh, thousand bet interaction if you win half your bets. Of course, it's because the juice, right? Sportsbooks price a juice to every single uh, market. So you're losing five grand if you're placing a, uh, you're placing a thousand bets, one hundred dollars a bet at minus one ten odds, and you're winning fifty percent of your bets. You're losing five grand. Now let's just up that win percentage from fifty to fifty five. Well, you've gone from down five grand to up four and a half grand just from winning 5% more of your bets. And on a nightly basis, like you win 10 of 20, you win 11 or 12 of 20, it doesn't really feel that different as a sports better. So that's A, why it's important to track your bets. And B, that's also why it's important to get every, to maximize the value where you can. So one way to get your win percentage from 50 to 55, you're just constantly getting the best odds or the best lines. So in this case, the total lands at exactly 154. This bet pushes, the 154 pushes, these two lose, your bet wins. That could literally be the difference between making money and losing money over the course of time. So I, un I understand people kind of scoffing at, oh, wow, you beat it by half a point, congratulations. I get it, but over the course of time, like I mentioned, it's incredibly valuable. So Arizona versus Utah under 154 and a half is going to be my favorite play for college hoops of the day. So if you're tailing it, comment and let me know. But that's all I got. So I appreciate you guys watching and have a good one.